Hi, my name is Kellen Selbach. I'm a graduating senior from Bellasville Union High School and the River Valley Technical Center. I'm also an alum from the Wyndham Regional Career Center and the VSAC Outreach Program. I was accepted to every school I applied to, as well as getting a over $35,000 school scholarship to Syracuse University, where I'm currently enrolled. While the college application and enrollment process is long and hard, it is possible and very worth your time and energy. The most important part of applying for college is deadlines. You have to meet your deadline. If you get every step done in a timely fashion, it'll make the next step and the step after that even easier. For example, you can't start your FAFSA until January 1st. Some school deadlines, though, are around January 15th. It's important to get those taken care of before January 1st so your deadlines and your tasks don't pile up. If you get one thing done at a time, it'll be smooth sailing. As, as students in Vermont, we're lucky that we have a lot of great resources available to help us apply for college. The first and most important is VSEC. Uh, the VSEC outreach program was a huge help to me and is by far worth signing up for. It's great to just have really a friend to help you uh, through this whole process. It's a, it's a lot to keep track of as well as being a high school senior and having a lot on your plate already and it's nice to have someone else who can kind of keep track of things for you and with you and to help you. If you sign up for the VSEC outreach program you'll be assigned a counselor and that counselor can help you um, talk to schools, it can help, they can help you stay on top of deadlines, um, they can help you with writing, writing supplements and writing materials, um, pretty much everything and it's, it's, it's very helpful. The next most important uh, resource to know about is the Common App. The Common Application is a singular application that multiple schools can pull from. So instead of filling out an application for each school, you fill out one application and then that school gets sent that application. So you go on and you put in the schools that you want it to pull from and then you fill out the one application. Sometimes there are extra writing supplements and things on the side. Um, but it's very self-explanatory and very straightforward. And it makes the whole process much easier if you don't have to fill out an application for each school. I would recommend um, applying for schools or adding schools to the Common App um, and have a wide range of schools. You can add any school that's on the Common App to your Common App, so it really doesn't hurt. If you've already done the application, it does not hurt to add more schools. Um, or harder schools or backup schools to really just make sure you have options. Options are great. While the Common App rocks and it does tell you a lot of your deadlines, it is very important to keep on track of deadlines school to school. Um, I ran into this a lot when I was applying for college. Um, there was a lot of portfolio and writing supplement deadlines that were different from the Common App deadline. So it's important to know all the deadlines beforehand. Make a spreadsheet of all the deadlines of all the schools so you can really stay on top of all of those. It's definitely the hardest part is the first initial before January, applying for schools, being on top of your deadlines. But make sure you know all of them going in. If your school isn't on the Common App, don't worry. Your Common App kind of acts as a, a resource to store information, a database for your life. All college applications are very similar. They all ask about the same things. And even the same writing supplement questions usually can be reused. That being said, do the Common App first, and then you can use that to pull information from for your other applications. That way you don't have to ask for your, your father's uh, secondary education name five times. You can just ask it once, put it on the Common App, and then when another school application asks you the same question, you can just go pull it out from the Common App. Next is don't be afraid to ask questions. Colleges like attention and they like for you to be informed. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone and to call a school if you have any sort of questions. Not only does it answer your questions and make it clearer for you, but it also starts to build a relationship with either that, that admissions officer, or the school in general. A lot of school will take notes on your phone conversations and leave it for the next person for when you call back. They have those notes and it, it's just a good thing to build a relationship, make it um, make them know that you're a real person and if you have to talk about financial aid, don't be afraid to call, ask them stuff, make them sh show them that you care and that you want to go there. That's the most important part. 
Finally, find a wide range of schools. Don't just apply for your middle average school. Apply for, apply for some backup schools. Make sure you have some schools that you're confident you can get into on the side, and you also have your mid-range and your super hard, because you just never know. You never know who will accept you, you never know who will like a specific part of you and accept you and give you a lot of money, so it's good to have a range. And as I said, the Common App makes it easy just to add, add loads of schools to that list. It's important to mention the later processes in this whole thing. Um, that includes financial aid. Financial aid is a big part of getting accepted to college. Actually being accepted is the first step, obviously, and that's fantastic. But for a lot of us in Vermont, it's not enough. We need kind of a hefty financial aid package to still be able to go to the school. It's almost getting that financial aid package back is almost as nerve-wracking as actually being accepted to the school. So that being said, a great resource for that is the FAFSA. Almost all colleges use the FAFSA for your financial aid. Um, it's kind of like a common app for financial aid. You fill out the one um, document um, with your parents' tax information, and that's um, it's good to just sit down with your parent one night, just do it all in like an hour. It doesn't actually even take that long. Just sit down and do it with a parent, um, and then you won't have to worry about it again until when you have to update it with your current tax information later on, which is still not a very big deal. I recommend getting that out of the way early. It opens on January 1st. Just do it and then you have it and you can you there's a place on there you can put in the schools that you applied to and it sends it right to the schools you barely even have to think about it some final kind of broad tips um, that I'd have for you um, is one to stay on your deadlines that is the most important part of applying to college is being on top of your deadlines you don't want to miss a deadline because then you miss your opportunity but it's easy to stay on top of deadlines. Make, make a sheet, a Google Doc, or a form that has all of it listed out for you. So you can check off when something's done and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can move on to the next step. Systematically and progressively move through the steps of applying to college. Don't forget to send your SAT scores. Most colleges need your SAT scores. And you might forget to send them. I almost forgot. Um, go to collegeboard.com and it has... Then through that, you can log on to your, your account, go to your SAT scores, and send them to the colleges. Um, it does cost a little bit of money, um, unless you got the fee waived, um, but it's a very important part that you actually end up doing that. If it does cost a lot of money, I would recommend calling the schools um, and seeing if they need that, because sometimes your high school will send your SAT score um, outside of the college board, or just having that number on your transcript can be enough for some schools. So if it does cost a lot of money, I would do that first, um, so you might get around some of those payments. Ask for help. It's important to ask for help. There's a lot of people out here to help you, not just the VSEC outreach program, which is very helpful and I highly recommend, but also your school counselors and teachers, and there are tons of peers and parents who have all gone through this process and will be happy to help you. We all know the struggle, and it is very important to keep on top of it all. Most of the process these days is online. Whether it's the Common App, the FAFSA, or other school applications, most of it's done online. Therefore, they all need passwords and usernames and things like that. So I would recommend making some sort of spreadsheet or document that contains all of your passwords and usernames. That way you can um, go to it when you want to log on to something. You don't have to try and keep it all straight because a lot of them have different requirements. So you need numbers or exclamation points or whatever it is. And they can't all be the same. But try and make them similar to help you out. And then write them all down. It's important to keep track of these things. The collegeboard.com can be a good resource when looking for schools. It has lists of um, what it takes to get into the school, um, what the student body is like, what SAT scores you need, the graduation rates, the employment rates. It has all sorts of information about schools to help you find the right schools. That's a good starting point when you're really you're dropped into this big pit of um, what schools do you, do you even look for. It's such a big thing. Uh, that's a good place to start, in my opinion. Also look for lists about your major, if you have a major in mind, look about what the best schools are for that, and look up what other students and post-students have to say. Um, education, just educate yourself about school and the whole process. It's not as hard as you think. It is very doable. And finally, good luck. Mm -hmm.